Hi, I'm Tom, and this is Whiskey Shorts. Today we're continuing our mini-series on the barrel types used in whiskey production. Most whiskey drinkers know that all Scotch whiskey has to mature in oak barrels for a minimum of three years, but this series will take a look at the cast types that are commonly used by whiskey distilleries to age their whiskies. I'll be sharing any terminology associated with them, what notes are generally associated with the different casks, and today we're going to look at the different levels of charring that you find in casks, the effects that this has on flavour during the maturation process. So what is a char? When constructing a cask, the staves have to be shaped. This was traditionally done by arranging them around a fire, leading to toasting on the inside of the staves. By toasting the wood, you break down the structure of the oak and increase the wood interaction between the spirit and the cask. Toasting is used a lot in wine and sherry making. Bourbon barrels are toasted when construction is taking place and when complete, the inside is charred before whiskey is added. This usually involves a blowtorch, a fire, or in the case of Karash, burning seaweed inside the casks. It is done to change the nature of the oak and it improves the interaction between oak and whiskey. Specifically, it works to change the flavours imparted by hemicellulose, giving more brown sugar, caramel and toffee notes when high heat is applied. Lignin, the higher the char, the more vanilla, spice and spunk you will get. Next up is the effect on the tannins. The highest char levels help to lessen the interaction between wood and tannins. And finally, higher char levels reduce the impact of oak lactones, and this is the compound that gives those woody coconut flavours to the whisky. The other benefit of charring is the barrel is now lined with carbon, a natural filtration system. The spirit interacts with the char, filtering out some of the more sulphurous compounds and allowing further interaction with the uncharred oak underneath. So what's the difference between char levels? Most whiskies are charred, most whisky casts are charred between levels one to four. A level one char is 15 seconds, number two char is 30, number three is 35, and number four, or the famous alligator char, due to the wood's resemblance to an alligator skin, is done for 55 seconds. Longer chars are possible, but are less common. But in my research, Buffalo Trace have previously used a number seven char. And it's not only the length of time taken to char, but also the intensity of the heat and time spent at peak heat levels that influences the char's effects. So used casks in whiskey making are recharred to invigorate the wood and allow more wood interaction. STR, a term synonymous with the late Dr. Jim Swan, is a process where old wine barrels are shaved, toasted and then recharred and this gives an effective base for maturation and often results in fruity caramel and vanilla flavours being imparted on the base syrup. Kil Kilhoman and White Peak are just two distilleries who have used these casts effectively. So if you found this video useful then check the description for links to my sources and please check the other videos on my channel. The next video in this mini-series will take a closer look at bourbon barrels and their use in maturing whisky. I hope you can join me for that video, but for now, I've been Tom and this has been Whisky Shorts. Thank you.